Do you live in an extremely cold country? Are you tired of the bullshit winter outfits you see that would freeze your butt off if you wear them in where you live? Fret not, I've got you covered. Hi guys, my name's Goya. Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about winter layering. If you boil it down, there's really not much to it. There's actually a formula behind it. You have the base layer, which is usually your thermal tops and bottoms, and then you have the mid layer, which could be a sweater, a cardigan, or a blazer. You can add as many layers as you want here. And then you have the outer layer, which is usually your winter coat. And at the end, you can also throw on some accessories like your hat, scarves, and gloves. In this video, I'm going to show you some examples of how I layer my clothes to survive Canadian winter in style. A. Eh? In this look, I'm starting with a nude top as my base layer and my thermal leggings. For the mid layer, I'm adding a white turtleneck sweater and another oversized chunky knit sweater. For the bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of houndstooth pants and a pair of white ankle boots. Now I'm putting on my white A-line coat on top. As for accessories, I'm wearing my classic Burberry scarf, a pair of brown leather gloves, and my white frame cat eye sunglasses so that I don't get blinded by snow. For this look, I'm starting with my thermal top and thermal leggings, and then I'm layering a camel turtleneck sweater and a white cardigan. For the bottoms, I am adding a pair of black pants and I'm pairing them with these chocolate brown knee high boots. For my outer layer, I'm wearing this white puffer coat that I've had for 12 freaking years. So, to make it a bit more contemporary, I'm throwing on a beanie, a pair of oval sunglasses, and my black leather gloves. For this one, I'm starting off with my nude top and thermal leggings again. For the mid layer, I'm wearing a white turtleneck, and on top of that, a preppy navy cardigan, which someone told me is something a douchey frat boy would wear. For the bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of camel pants, and I'm pairing them with my white boots. For the outer layer, I'm wearing this camel wool coat to match with my pants. I'll tie my hair back to look a bit more sleek. As for accessories, I'm adding a pair of black leather gloves and black shades. For this look, I'm starting with, you guessed it, a nude top and thermal leggings. For the mid layer, I'm adding a white shirt and then a camel v-neck sweater. For the bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of red white leg pants, and I'm pairing them with white boots again. As for the coat, I'm wearing this camel wool trench that's literally like a trench coat and a wool coat had a baby. To finish it up, I'm adding a scarf on top of that, and my black gloves. I'm starting with, are you tired of hearing this yet? A new top and thermal leggings. Hi, my name is Goria and I'm a broken record. I'm layering with a white turtleneck and a more structured camel blazer. For the bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of black wide leg pants and I'm pairing them with my black ankle boots. Now I'm adding my black long wool coat as my outer layer. Finally, for accessories, I'm adding a wool panama hat and my black gloves. For this look, I'm starting with my thermal top, and no, not my thermal leggings. I'm wearing my pantyhose instead. For the mid layer, I'm wearing my camel turtleneck and a leather blazer, which is literally the baby of a leather jacket and a blazer. Okay, enough of that joke. 
Um, for the bottoms, I'm wearing this brown midi skirt and these chocolate brown knee-high boots again. As for the outer layer, I'm wearing this oversized black faux fur coat, which has been crowned the most worn piece by me in winter, as if it's an actual prize. And lastly, for accessories, I'm wearing my little beret. For this look, I'm starting with my thermal top and thermal leggings. For the mid layer, I'm wearing a black turtleneck. And wait for it, there is a dramatic twist here. A black wool coat. <sighs> for the bottoms, I'm wearing my black pants and my black ankle boots. So what's for my outer layer? Dun dun dun! My black faux fur coat. Who says you can't wear two coats at the same time? I'm pretty much a black bear at this point. Well, a black bear with a hat and some gloves. For this last look, I'm bringing back my nude top and thermal leggings as base layer and then I'm adding my white chunky knit sweater and my beige pants and also my heavy duty cougar boots. For the outer layer, I am wearing my trusty Canada Goose which I pretty much live in from January to March. Mind you, Canadian winter starts in November and ends in April. Why did I move here? Existential crisis aside, I'm also wearing a beanie and a pair of thicker black gloves to finish the look. Here you go, this is always a safe bet. When all else fails, your good old parka always gets your back. That's it for winter layering. I hope it helps you get through this brutal winter. If you somehow decide to get away from all this and go somewhere warm for a vacation, I also made a video about warm weather vacation outfit ideas. <clears throat> Shameless self-promotion here. I'll leave the link below for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.